Hello, my name is Jasmine, and one of these people is about to become feed famous. Last week, the competitors had to show us their best unboxing photos. Anthony crushed it by dressing up like a little mermaid and did amazing. He won the challenge for the week. Unfortunately, Rosie didn't quite make the cut and we had to say goodbye to her. Now we're down to our top four competitors and here they are. Hi everyone, Vicky here. It's me again. Hey, it's Anthony. I am also. A whole other week that you gotta see my face. I cannot believe it's our third week already. These past couple of weeks have been amazing. I've had so much fun. Oh my God, I can't tell you guys how much fun I had doing our unboxing challenge. I'm loving not knowing what's coming next and I'm just having a good time. The unboxing challenge, it was hard because I couldn't get my idea down and it was hard trying to incorporate all the things into one photo. So I'm just gonna go into this week, how I've been going in, like literally going in. So with challenge number two, I I thought it was a lot better than I did with my first week challenge. I'm ready to just give it my all this week. Looking forward to know what this challenge is. All right? Okay. Bye. Now let's meet our celeb guest judge for the week. Not only does she have over 600,000 Instagram followers, she has her own swimwear line and co-founded a plus size brand called Prem, which we are both wearing today. Let's welcome Gabby Fresh. Hi. Yes, thank you so much for being here. Oh my God, thanks for having me. I'm so and excited. Yes, thanks for this outfit you look too. look so good in it. I'm so excited. <laughs> spring girl, spring, yes. it's happening. This week's challenge was our hashtag not sponsored challenge. Ooh. This is what we sent the competitors. Okay. Hello competitors and welcome to this week's challenge video. <laughs> You've probably seen a whole bunch of people selling a bunch of random sh all over your feeds. Weight loss tea, makeup, teeth whitening, clothes, literally anything. Brand partnerships are essential to being a social media star because let's be real, we gotta make our money. This week, your challenge is hashtag not sponsored. You're going to have to make a fake hashtag ad about toilet paper. Now you need to sell me this toilet paper. Why do I want it? Why do I need it? Why do I have to have this in my life? Not only will you be sending me a pic modeling the toilet paper, but I also need a video of your hashtag ad. You are all being sent the same script and you have to say it in one take. We know that money makes the feed go round, so let's try to be as natural as we can in these ads. And remember, you can only use your phones. Done. That video is amazing, number one. <laughs> toilet paper, interesting choice. Yeah, I wanted you here in the first place mm -hmm. because not only are you you, but you have brands behind you. Definitely. You have Prem, you have your swimsuit line. So you're used to having to at least sell things. For sure. But also be yourself. I think that's the main part of yeah. doing sponsorships is making sure you still have your integrity mm -hmm. and are yourself and are casual and people can still connect with you and it doesn't feel like a commercial. I'm hoping our contestants can bring that. So this week we're judging our competitors mm -hmm. on three categories. Composition, authenticity, mm -hmm. and feed worthiness. Composition is going to be like technical, like framing, even Outlook. though it's one take, did they use good lighting? Right. Authenticity is going to be that, are they staying themselves? Totally. And then feed worthiness, would we buy into this? Would we scroll past this? Got it. I think all three of those things kind of play into each other too. Like if you have great composition and mm -hmm. authenticity, you're going to get that double tap, exactly. right? I think authenticity though is the is the thing I'm looking for the most. Our first competitor this week that we're gonna watch is Oso. Oso last week almost won, missed it by a hair, but has sent some pretty authentic, very himself pictures. Awesome. So I'm hoping that's what we're gonna get this week too. Great. Let's see. Mm, mm, I've made it through. Mm, mm. I've made it through. Mm. I'm so happy. This week is the not sponsored challenge. Memorizing lines, I'm good. One take. Y'all playing with me. <laughs> really don't know what I'm gonna be doing with this toilet paper. We couldn't sell salt. I could have been salt bang. Like, like, toilet paper. Mother Jazz is now playing. No, she's not. But you know what? Chokes on y'all, cause I'm ready. Mm, 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 mm. Ready. Hands down. I'm gonna try to kill it.
Toilet paper is a basic necessity, but when you're feed famous, nothing in your life can be basic. That's why I use Toilet Papier. It's versatile, fun, and glam. No social media star should have to use anything that isn't bold and luxurious. That's why I can't live without my toilet. Oh, oh my god. I like that picture. Glam. Yes. I kind of loved it. I kind of did too. It was backlit the whole time, which mm -hmm. I didn't love, but also that made it a little more realistic and a little more authentic because it looked real like he was just hanging out in his bathroom. I agree. So in some ways, I think that actually connects better to the audience. Yes. Composition-wise, mm -hmm. like you said, I think it could have been lit a little bit better. Definitely. But I do like his one angle go to the second yeah, angle. Yeah, I love that like, little turn. Yeah, that was great. That was cute on the little throw. Gave him some movement it felt realistic yeah instead of just being like still go ahead and say right. something. Mm -hmm. authenticity I mean this is my first time seeing Oso mm -hmm. but he seems super authentic and that to me is what really intrigued me and made me want to buy what he was selling yes I loved it I loved it a lot and then feed worthiness I think mm -hmm. I would honestly buy it because I loved his authenticity so much yeah I love the sunglasses like yeah. he's wearing the sunglasses and then the toilet paper is <laughs> wearing the sunglasses hilarious yes but I do feel like it's a little too overproduced and I, I think agree. when you overproduce and you have something sponsored, it just reads it's too corporate. You're right. Yeah. That's why you do this. Huh? I try. <laughs> now we have Victoria. Mm -hmm. Victoria won our challenge number one. Okay. And then the second challenge, she did decently. Victoria always brings it though. Cool. So I'm hoping she like went over and beyond. Awesome. Let's see. Hello everyone, Vicky here. This week our challenge is <laughs> Hashtag not sponsored. I was feeling very confident, very excited. And then I watched the video and I was like, oh my God. Um, like selling toilet paper, you guys. Why, why? Out of all things, how? How am I gonna sell toilet paper? Oh my God. Toilet paper, I think this is the hardest challenge yet. I am not excited. I think that the best thing I can do is create a dress or a skirt with the toilet paper. Yes. I'm selling toilet paper, but I'm also selling fashion. I have to find a location to shoot it in that screams glamour. My focus now is to try to make it as Vicky as possible. Wow, I'm already shook. I love it. Toilet paper is a basic necessity, but when you're a bit famous, nothing in your life oh! can be basic. <laughs> That's why I use it's versatile, it's fun, and it's glam. No social media star should have to use anything that isn't bold and luxurious. That's why I can live without my toilet. Wow! <laughs> yeah, that was kind of mind blowing. That was so creative to make it into a dress. That was a really great way to make it cool. And if you notice in the video, she had two that mm -hmm. were like bedazzled, oh my which God. means she had to bedazzle two it. rolls of toilet paper. She definitely put some work into that video for oh. sure. All right, composition wise, the fact that she's in public doing this stuff, I get nervous but you like need taking that. pictures. Like, as an influencer, you need to have the bravery to do that exactly. because it's part of the job. Yeah, and the only little criticism. I would give is I wish it was more of a quieter place so I could Agreed. hear her more. Yeah, the sound wasn't great. Mm -mm. Authenticity. It's weird because like she was playing mm -hmm. someone else. That was the hard part for me. Yeah. I do feel like as long as it reads as like kind of ironic and funny. Exactly. Then it works. And I really like the fact that she's selling something as basic as toilet paper and she like took totally. it. Totally. She took it there. Feed worthiness. I would definitely save this or I would definitely like it. And I would probably like send it to a few friends. Yeah. Too. I'd be like, look what this girl did. What? Toilet paper, yeah. She made a dress. <laughs> Insane. Out of toilet paper. Right? And it looked good. It looked so good. <laughs> wow. Next is Divinity. Last week, Divinity had a beautiful picture, like near a water fountain. And Divinity is also like very herself, mm -hmm. very like vulnerable, but strong at the same Love time. That. So I'm excited to see what she brings. Great. Hello, everybody. This is the hashtag unsponsored challenge. Cause we ain't getting paid to do this in real life, y'all. And not only do we have to shoot a video, but we have to do a video in just one take. I am very nervous. I'm the queen of a thousand takes. Like right now, and I'm already on take 225. I feel attacked right now. I fumble over my words all the time. My mom should have made, see, this is what I'm talking about. I read somewhere, if you write something down, you're more likely to remember it. Toilet paper. 
is a basic necessity. I am very excited because I feel like it is a chance Wait, to I'm obsessed with her. do on camera or show how I really can't do on camera. It's like Russian roulette right now. I'm officially nervous for this one. Toilet paper is a basic necessity. But when you're feed famous, nothing in your life can be basic. That's why I use toilet paper. It's versatile, it's fun, it's glam. No social media star should ever have to use anything that's not bold and luxurious. That's why I can't live without my toilet paper. First of all, I'm not over how gorgeous she is. She's beautiful. I mean. You know what I'm sad about? Yeah. It's like her intro video was so funny yeah, and yeah, so yeah. authentic and so good. And I was so excited to see her actual sponsored mm -hmm. video. And then it fell flat for me. I agree. I was a little underwhelmed composition wise. The lighting was great. Mm -hmm. It was just a basic like one wide right. shot. I mean, I thought it was good. I yeah. mean, it looked well done, mm -hmm. and it looked very familiar, like it looked like most YouTube videos, I agree. which I think is actually a good thing. But again, yeah, it just, it wasn't anything special. Yeah, I agree. When it comes to authenticity, it was hard because I think she's more fun than that. Mm -hmm. It just felt very sponsored, which is like what we're trying to get away from, right? Honestly. For feed worthiness, I think it was just okay. I honestly feel like Divinity herself would delete this later. Right? It's I one mean, of those posts. I mean, I really, really, really connected with her, and then I was so disappointed in her video, so yeah, yeah, I think I would just scroll past. Our last competitor of the day is Anthony. Mm -hmm. He won last week's challenge. Oh, cool. Turned himself into a beautiful, like, mermaid goddess. What? Yes. I am really having a lot of high hopes for I was gonna say, I have high expectations now, so hopefully he brings it. Let's hope. Hey, it's Anthony, and it's the non-sponsored challenge and live from my bathroom. So I'm gonna go into this challenge really stoked, really happy, you know, and trying to step outside the box, like try to push myself even further. So I'm really confident yes. in the aspect of trying to sell something, but I'm really not confident in trying to say it in all in one take. I know it's gonna take a while. It's kind of like muscle memory, but with the head, so memorizing it basically. <laughs> I'm gonna add some spice and try to make it my own, but I'm confident slash anxious, so. Toilet, love you. <laughs> Wait, love I'm him. already done. Girl, my ass is glued to this toilet seat. I don't know, you were the one that said that you wanted to get spicy food. Girl, let me call you back. I said, let me call you back. Hi. Hello, it's me again. You know, just sitting here cleaning out my inside. This is not the script. I love Let's it. Let's talk about what you're doing wrong. And no, it's not your eyebrows this time. It's about toilet paper. You know, toilet paper is a basic necessity, but when you're feed famous, nothing in your life can be basic. That's why I use toilet papier. Excuse me while I freshen up. I can't handle it. I'm him. dying. He's actually literally wiping. <laughs> it's versatile, fun, and glam. <laughs> like me. Not the versatile, but, but you know, name. <laughs> no social media star should have to use anything that isn't bold and luxurious. That's why I can't live without my toilet papier. I'd love for you to stay in chat, but I've got some cleaning up to do. So choose toilet papier. It cleans your so you can be the Wait, I'm dead. Oh dead. my gosh. I feel like that's so on brand for him. It's amazing. Like, I feel like it was 100% him, even you though it tell. wasn't him. I just love that he was the first influencer to really embrace the challenge and make toilet paper what it is. I thought it was hilarious. I agree. But also, he elevated it to make it funny and cool. I totally agree. Composition-wise, it's funny because he was so made up, mm -hmm. but I feel like everything around him being just like natural lighting, like it, it, it worked. It yeah. When it comes to authenticity, that was him, I mean, 100%. 100%, I don't even know him, but I could tell that was him. Yeah. He wasn't. I mean, he was performing, but in a self-aware way yes. to make it funny. The only thing I didn't love was that he was literally using tissue and not <laughs> toilet paper. It was weird, but I was still like, okay. Yeah, you know, it was the one thing that kind of detracted. I agree. Feed worthiness. Yes. 
like Check it, every buy box. it, take would it, buy. give me it would all. Would send to my friends, would double tap. Yeah. Hilarious. It was beautiful. Yeah, that was great. Everyone really brought it this week. Totally. It made me so happy. But unfortunately, we need to pick out who's the winner and who's being kicked off the feed. So our first person is Anthony. Anthony killed it this week. I just really loved how he took the challenge seriously, but also made it lighthearted and fun. Yes. He was the only one to actually be in a bathroom and using the actual product, which yeah. I actually think worked. And added his own yeah. script. Exactly, he embellished the script and made it more funny, oh. and like, it just worked. It was great, it was great. Divinity is, she looks beautiful. She looks beautiful in the whole thing, but it just, fell a little bit short. Yeah, the actual challenge, which was about sponsorship and selling something, it didn't work for me. Yeah. Okay, so Victoria. So good. She put herself out there. She was in yeah. public in toilet in paper. In toilet paper. It takes a lot to do that. Yeah. As someone who just poses in normal clothes, I can't imagine what it was like posing in a toilet paper gown. This was, was in between to me of Same. being like authentic, but being a little bit too commercially for me. Yeah, it was a little tongue in cheek, which I yeah. liked and it translated, but then it kind of crossed over sometimes into two salesmen, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not the strongest. I think he's in like the lower half of our top four. So our top two, Anthony and Victoria. Yeah. I really love what Victoria did. Definitely. But I know you have strong feelings for Anthony. I mean, I just really I really loved how authentic he came off and yeah. the fact that he embraced the challenge so much. Mm -hmm. Victoria was great too though. Yeah. I don't know, I'm on the fence. Looking at everything as a whole, I think we know who the winner is yeah. and who's being kicked off the feed. Hi, Anthony. Hi. Hi. I'm here with Gabby Fresh. How She's amazing. Hi, how's it going? So we were just calling to talk about um, your ad. You did everything really, really great, but you also like went off the script a little bit. You fully like wiped your <laughs> on camera. <laughs> It was very interesting coming from a brand's point of view. Mm -hmm. We wanted to let you know that you won this week. So good. <laughs> <laughs> Twice oh, in a row, right? Yeah, two weeks in a row. Oh, girl, you know, two times or whatever. Oh. <laughs> you did so good. We Congratulations. Loved it. Congratulations. Thank you. See you later. Bye. Bye. He was so happy. I mean, I'm so excited. cute. I love the little twist you did. We tried <laughs> We tried to pretend like we, you know. <laughs> I but, tried. But unfortunately, uh, we know who's being kicked off the feed. And I'm so scared of this part. I know. It's time to call them. <laughs> okay. Hi. Hey, Divinity. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. I'm here with Gabby. Hi. Gabby Fresh. Hi. You look gorgeous. Always. Thank you. Fucking <laughs> glowing. So we were calling to talk to you about the not sponsored challenge. I know you've been working your ass off and everything turned out well, but it just fell a tiny, tiny bit short this week. Unfortunately, you won't be moving on to next week. I'm so sorry, girl. We love you. Oh, it's okay. Thank you. I was really happy for the opportunity to be in the competition at all. No, of course. And honestly, like, you're one of the people in this uh, competition that I think is definitely a trendsetter. Your wigs are everything. The gray you, one, well, girl, I soon done. you'll be able to buy them from me, okay? Like, you look so good going. and you're like so positive and a really great presence. Mm -hmm. And I'm excited that the world is gonna get to meet you through the show. Thank you guys so much. Thank Aww. you. Of course, really thank you so it. much, girl. Bye. Bye. That was our hashtag not sponsored challenge. Gabby, thank you so much oh for God. being Thanks here. Thanks for having me, that was so fun. Yes, you've helped so much. I mean, I try. <laughs> of course, <laughs> always. Thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of Feed Famous. If you want to try our challenge this week, hashtag not sponsored, upload a video onto Instagram and tag us at Feed Famous Show. Make sure you tune in next week to see who of our top three is one step closer to becoming Feed Famous. Ha <laughs> ha!